In 1893, America was in the throes of an economic recession which was known as the Panic of 1893. Grover Cleveland was the President of the United States, and one of the greatest, and perhaps one of the most flawed athletes of all time, was born on February 10th. Bill Tilden is the greatest male tennis player that's ever lived. If you look at his resume, playing in the 19-teens and 20s and 30s, over the course of 14 years, with the Grand Slams, he made it to the semifinals of every single Grand Slam he entered except for one. And it's disappointing that so many people don't know who Bill Tilden is. He's arguably the greatest tennis player of all time, one of the greatest athletes of the last century. People have no idea who he is. They've never heard his name. And if they have, they've forgotten him. The 1920s were considered the golden age of sports, and the heroes of that era had an indelible effect on sports and society. Tilden maintained his number one position throughout the first half of the 1920s, winning the U.S. singles title six years in a row and leading his Davis Cup teams in an unprecedented run against worldwide challengers. It was not only his stroke production that made Tilden such a strong competitor, but also his psychological read on the game. Bill Tilden was a tennis genius, but he wasn't perfect. As he was still playing incredibly in his 40s and 50s, and he ran into some legal troubles, because in the 1940s and 1950s, it was not legal to be gay. A gay male athlete at a time when such sexual orientation was deemed unacceptable, particularly in sport. I had uh, been a ball boy at an exhibition that Bill played at San Diego State College. And we were ball boys, there was about six of us, and we had a little problem with being ball boys because as later, later it came out, Bill had a preponderance for young boys. The Tilden case from the arrest to uh, his death, uh, the, all the judicial proceedings that went on, uh, is, so, is so interesting, uh, not just from a criminal law standpoint, looking at the evolution of criminal law on how it, uh, on, you know, on his case and how we have cases today that are similar, but even from a sociological standpoint, looking at a lot of the, the deeper underlying issues uh, homosexual crimes, pedophilia, uh, and issues that they had to deal with then, which even just now we're starting to deal with uh, and, and sort of dispelling some of the stigma uh, around that. He became a victim of society's homophobia. Tilden was driving on uh, in Beverly Hills, uh, and a couple of Beverly Hills police officers see him driving erratically. They see that there's a what appears to be a young boy in the driver's seat, and around uh, the boy's arm is Tilden, uh, around the boy's neck, um, pardon me, is, is Tilden's arm, uh, and his fly is open, the miner's fly is open. Uh, they end up arresting him. Scandal would overtake Bill Tilden toward the end of his life and career, tarnishing his brilliant athletic legacy. Now, after World War II, everyone who was different was scary. Whether they were black, or they were gay, or they were to the left politically, they were deemed an enemy of the state, and they were investigated, and they were killed, and they were jailed. And unfortunately, Bill Tilden fell into one of those categories. He was obviously gay. But there's more to this story. <laughs>